Well, today the governor was in Skagit County to talk about some of the biggest challenges facing our state. He made a big push for his climate legislation, toured the Skagit Valley Marine Technology Center, and held a roundtable at an elementary school. 213's Jennifer Lee takes us to each location. From the beautiful blue waters of Anacortes, Governor Jay Inslee says our state is being threatened. He says the wildlife are being impacted, forests are burning down, children are breathing smoke in from the forest fires, and that is leading to an epidemic of asthma. And we are here today to call the Washington State Legislature to action to stop climate change, to attack carbon pollution, and to give Washingtonians what they deserve, which is clean air. Inslee is supporting two bills, one to establish a clean fuel standard aimed at reducing transportation emissions, and the second bill is called the Climate Commitment Act. The governor says it's a cap and invest program to reduce emissions while making progress on new infrastructure that produces and uses energy cleaner and more efficiently. We know that COVID is not the only crisis we have today. We have a climate crisis today just as existential as COVID. And as we are defeating COVID with science and confidence and action, we have to take similar action against the climate crisis. And we know we can do this. Governor Inslee also toured the Skagit Valley Marine Technology Center. It is home to the college's marine maintenance program. Also on the list was Centennial Elementary School here in Mount Vernon. Governor Jay Inslee says it was heartening to see students back in the classroom learning again in person. We now can give our children uh, an, an in-classroom experience. This is happening all across the state of Washington. People are working really hard to make it work. There's a lot of logistical challenges they're working through, but they're working through them. They're making it work. The governor held a roundtable discussion about COVID-19 and the classroom. He says educators have been solution-oriented, and it's an approach that we can all learn from. In Skagit County, Jennifer Lee, Q13 News. The two climate bills are under consideration in the Washington State Legislature. We'll have a link to the bills on our website, Q13Fox.com.